The Scottish warriors like to use what's called a targi. It's a spiked, sometimes spiked shield. It was made out of laminated wood and they would use this in defense against a pointed weapon or even a musket ball. If a musket was fired, they would drop to the ground and angle this up so that the shot, if it came anywhere near them, would hit this and bounce over their heads. Then they would charge. They liked to use, at that period of time, a basket hilt claymore, which is a one-handed sword. They would also use a dirk in their offed hand, which was often made from the tips of broken swords, and then often had the spike on the end of the targi. And they would charge in toward the British infantry who had muskets. They would bind the musket, the bayonet of the musket up. As they came through, they'd try to cut them in the face or the throat with the, with the dirk and then hack with the sword. Often made from the tips of broken swords and then often had the spike on the end of the targi. And they would charge in toward the British and this up so that the shot, if it came anywhere near them, would hit this and bounce over their heads. Then they would charge. They like to use, the Scottish warriors like to use what's called a targi. It's a spiked, sometimes spiked shield. It was made out of laminated wood. At that period of time, a basket hilt claymore, which is a one-handed sword. They would also use a dirk in their offed hand, which was, a, and they would use this in defense against a pointed weapon or even a musket ball. If a musket was fired, they would drop to the ground and angle